This is Professor Derev Seitz, Shebyshev's Theorem. This video shows how to understand Shebyshev's Theorem and how to calculate the standard deviation boundaries using Microsoft Excel. This spreadsheet has two blue cells where you enter data for the mean in this starting value zero and standard deviation one. And Chebyshev's theorem applies for any data set. Does not have to have any particular shape. That's a powerful aspect of the theorem, but the statements it makes are not real strong statements as we'll see later when we look at the empirical rule for a bell-shaped symmetric distribution. But for any data set, there's a formula, one minus one over k squared, where k represents the number of standard deviations, and it begins with two. It does not make a statement for one. And it tells you by calculating this value, the minimum percent of data that will lie within that standard deviation, those boundaries. So as shown here, when k is 2, here we have the formula 1 minus 1 over 2 squared, and it's rounded, gives us 75 percent. The diagram shows here within two and negative two standard deviations, at least 75% of the data values are guaranteed to be located. For the value three, three standard deviations, the same calculation gives 88.9% of the data will lie within that interval. For four standard deviations, it becomes 93.8% of the data. If we change the mean to be 50 and the standard deviation to 10, the same percentages are guaranteed for those same boundaries. And now the boundary points for those standard deviations are recalculated automatically by the spreadsheet. If you have something not so easy to calculate, say you have a mean of 123 and a standard deviation of 17, that would be rather hard to calculate. It takes some time and error prone to calculate all those boundary points, but this spreadsheet does it uh, instantly for you, and you can use it when you're analyzing a data set using Chebyshev's theorem. 